If you really want to add size to your glutes, you really need to In today's video, I'm going to be specifically talking about booty gains by body type. Let's get started. What's up YouTube, Christine with Gage Girl Training here, an online meal planning and coaching service. And for those of you who have been enjoying my body type series, I just wanna thank you guys for, for watching, for all of the comments, all of the questions, been answering every email regarding your complimentary body type assessments. And if you're not sure what your body type is, you can always shoot me an email, christine at musclegauge.com for a complimentary body type assessment. But in today's video, I'm going to be specifically talking about booty gains by body type. So let's get started. So a lot of you guys have been considering your body type when it comes to your nutrition and your training. And I know a lot of you guys have been seeing a lot of excellent results. A lot of you guys have been checking out the 12-week body type training plans and have been receiving phenomenal results. But in today's video, I wanted to bring up a few considerations that you may not have thought of when it comes to booty gains, glute gains specifically when it comes to your body type. And I'm going to show you guys glute-specific progress pictures of the different body types and how they were able to make their specific progress. Now, I'm going to start off with the ectomorph. Now, the ectomorph tends to be a leaner figure, a hard gainer. They tend to have high metabolisms and they tend to have a more challenging time building lean muscle mass. So this first photo here is of an ectomorph booty transformation. Now, the key thing I want to draw to your attention, when it comes to adding size to the glutes for ectomorphs, the name of the game is you got to eat more, you got to eat more, you got to eat more. Ectomorphs, do not be afraid to eat more. I have had ectomorphs on programs anywhere from 2,000 calories to 4,500 calories. If you have been that underweight, needing, and your metabolism is that high, so do not be afraid to eat more food. This client specifically underwent a 10 pound weight gain. This was a 10 pound weight gain over the course of 12 weeks. Now the thing that was crucial obviously outside of eating more calories was supplementation. Ectomorphs, do not be afraid of more food. Do not be afraid of supplements. You want to dial down the cardio though. Dial it down almost to nothing. I mean if you really want to add size to your glutes, you really need to dial down the cardio, dial up the supplements, dial up the food. Now, as far as the supplementation, this client here was on a creatine monohydrate. She was also on a muscle gainer. So this next ectomorph transformation, this was a contest prep. Now, I just wanted to draw some attention to how much she was actually eating. Now on contest prep, this person was eating 1800 calories a day in addition to three weekly required cheat meals by me. So you can definitely see that she was able to add definition and size to the hamstrings, add lift and curve and roundness to the glutes, but a big piece of this was making sure she was eating enough and we were doing a lot of refeeds with this person to make sure that she was going to hold on to the muscle mass. Now this person was a former marathon runner so we really needed to dial down the cardio even on contest prep. So she was still training hard, still working out hard, but the key was being able to make sure that she was eating substantially more. This is another ectomorph glute specific transformation. And again, this person, she used to be a vegetarian before she started working with me and she was open to adding some animal based proteins to her diet based off of her own choice. Now this person was only 105 pounds and we were able to get her to gain five pounds, but you can definitely see that there is more roundness in the glutes, more size in the hamstrings. You can definitely see, start to see the glute hamstring tie in here, but the name of the game, glute gains for ectomorphs is do not be afraid to eat more. Don't be shy of supplementation. And last but not least, you definitely need to dial down the cardio and you definitely need to increase the weights. Do not be afraid of more food because it's so hard for the ectomorphs to add size without sufficient caloric intake. Now, overall, 
If you're an ectomorph, the main thing you gotta do to add glutes is you still gotta train, you still gotta weight train, but you got to eat more. If you eat more, you will be shocked how easy it is for you to add size to your glutes. You just need to be eating the right amount. Now, in my opinion, I'm gonna talk about mesomorphs. In my opinion, I actually think that the mesomorph has a unique challenge to adding size to the glutes, unlike the ectomorph and unlike the endomorph. So the mesomorph is somebody who's got an athletic figure, somebody who's metabolically efficient, somebody like a Britney Spears would be a mesomorph, I'm a mesomorph, Janet Jackson, Jessica Biel, Madonna, those types of bodies are mesomorphs. But the thing that's challenging for a mesomorph, because mesomorphs can gain weight easily, mesomorphs can lose weight easily that you may not think of. For a mesomorph, there is a very fine-tuned balance because obviously you need to be eating enough food to make sure that you're adding size, but the thing is you can't be eating too much food to the point that that's going to add size to your midsection. Yes, you may have a bigger butt and fuller legs, but if that's making your stomach get bigger at the same time, it's not as easy as it is for an ectomorph. An ectomorph can just eat more, and if they're weight training heavy enough, what's going to happen is that extra food is going to go to like fill and repair like the, the glutes. But with the mesomorph, the mesomorphs, you need to be comfortable with not necessarily seeing changes on the scale. You may feel like nothing is happening, but you're actually making substantial gains. So this first photo here, this is a contest prep client of mine before and after in her 12 week program. And this was a very minuscule weight change. However, the thing is we were adding substantially more size and definition to the glutes. And this person was expecting to experience a more dramatic weight loss. But the thing is for mesomorphs, you may not see much weight loss at all. You cannot rely on the scale to dictate your progress when it comes to glutes because you want to add size to the glutes, but you want your waist to be small. So that exact balance of the appropriate amount of cardio and the appropriate macro split can be very personalized even though you are a mesomorph. So ideally, you do wanna be consuming enough carbohydrates to make sure that you can add size to your glutes. However, you don't wanna go over your carbohydrate tipping point where you're eating too many carbs to the point where the excess insulin is going to be started as body fat, if that makes sense. The key for mesomorphs is you want to make sure that your carbohydrates are being utilized efficiently. So here is another mesomorph transformation. You can see here in the yellow bottoms that this person has had a significant reduction in body fat and more addition of muscle during this transformation process. However, there wasn't a substantial difference in the weight during this time. The waistline got a little leaner, the love handles got leaner. However, the key here was efficient utilization of carbohydrates. So the carbs that she was eating were being used effectively by her training and she wasn't overdoing cardio. You still need to do cardio if you're a mesomorph, but you can't do too much above and beyond what you're eating. Otherwise, you're going to lose everything. So you still need to do cardio, but not as much. And you need to eat a little bit more carbs, but not too much carbs. It's a very, very fine balance for the mesomorph. And this is where I would suggest a customized meal plan to really fine tune and tweak this for you because I can tell you guys some general macro ratios. However, it's going to depend on where you are, how much you have to lose, and what your body fat percentage is, where you're trying to get. But if you're trying to add size to the glutes for the mesomorph, you cannot be afraid to eat a little bit more, but of that little bit more that you're going to be eating, you need to be training very hard. So this is um, my glute transformation. So you can see the before and after, and I've added substantially more size to my glutes. The photo on the left, I believe I have approximately between 34 and 35 inch hips. On the other side, I'm between a 38 and 39 in chips. So I've essentially been able to add about like four inches to my glute. This before photo is from 2011. So I've added substantially more size. However, I will admit 
I have personally struggled with when I did add size, obviously my waist got a little bit bigger. Now in order to keep the size and get your waist small, it's going to include substantially more weight training. And that's a very important thing for mesomorphs. If you're interested in a mesomorph training plan to achieve similar results, I highly recommend that you check out the 12 week mesomorph training plan. It is available in beginner, intermediate and advanced. Last but not least, I want to talk about the endomorph. Now the endomorph, if you want to improve your glutes as an endomorph, I have good news and I have bad news. The good news is you will keep your curves. The bad news is they will get smaller. In this endomorph transformation from day zero to day 160, if you're an endomorph, your glutes will get smaller because you are losing body fat. And a lot of endomorphs have big round butts, but the composition of your butt is actually a lot of body fat, not necessarily muscle. So you can definitely see this person, her butt got smaller, but it got rounder, it got tighter, she lost body fat, her waist got smaller, and you can see she increased muscle definition. Here's another one where this endomorph, in the before photo here on the left, her waist was 27 inches. In the after photo, her waist just went slightly under 25 inches. So she went from 27 to about 24 and a half and the hips went from 39 to a 36. So she did lose size on her butt, but you can see that there is more definition in the hamstring, more definition in the quad, more lift in the glutes, but the butt got smaller. But the butt that she's left with is pure muscle and it's nice and her waist is tinier. So here's the big overview. I actually think ectomorphs have probably more of an easier time getting a big butt because all they really have to do is eat a lot more and train a lot more. Now that sounds easy on paper, but mesomorphs have just unique challenges because it's a lot of fine tuning. As far as adding substantial size, the training is going to be so crucial for the mesomorphs. That's why I highly recommend if you're a mesomorph, you check out the mesomorph training plan. If you're an endomorph, just know you can keep your curves, but your curves will get smaller. So don't be afraid to lose a little bit of your butt if you're an endomorph because it doesn't mean that you're going to lose your curves. The ratio from your waist to your hips will probably stay the same, but what you will be left with is a less overall body fat. So I hope this is helpful. Please check out the body type training plans, especially if you want to add substantial size to your glutes. It would be best to get one of those programs and couple it with a customized meal plan, especially if you want size on your glutes. If you want size on your glutes, you cannot be in extreme caloric deficits to achieve that. So if there's any other questions or concerns, please let me know and I'll see you in the next one.